goat feed is anywhere between $10 per 50 pounds to $20 per 50 pounds, plus your price of minerals. And so I wanna minimize goat feed waste as much as possible. I'm Justin Hitt from Prosperity Homestead. Here's what I've been doing. I don't know that it is the best thing to be doing. I'm trying to improve on it. But what I don't wanna see is goat feed get wet and it have to get dumped out. Now again, the chickens can eat it. The, um, you know, if I had pigs, I could put that uh, saturated feed in with some pigs, but I don't have pigs. And the chickens haven't figured out how to consistently get from over there to over here. So what I've got to do is I got to dump out the feed. I got to dump out the water. Like that mineral right there is getting dumped out and refresh it with some dry material. Now this can be dumped out and then if that, I know that I put that in there yesterday. So I can, I'll just kind of lean that up against the side here to kind of dry some of it out in the sun. Probably needs to be replaced by the end of the day. I tipped their bowls up on the sides over here to get them some, some clean feed. There's a little bit of old feed in there, but I'm giving them less food. Let's see how this boy's doing. So I give him his, he, you put a lot of hay in your, in your feed. So I'm giving you food right into your right into your hay and then tipping it up to make sure there's no water in it right right and so I give them a small amount of food so they eat that food completely and then I give them a little bit more food it's a little bit more time on my part but I got to gauge how much they how much they want to eat and so he's out he's almost out I don't want him to eat too fast this guy's water I got to clean his water his water is turning green but again, slow down how much food you're giving them. I have the same four cups in here I did before, but I'm giving them a couple a scoop at a time to make, which is about a half a pound to three quarters of a pound. I'm giving them feed away from each other so they're not stealing each other's feed. But ultimately, if he eats all he's got, he gets more. It's the same ration, the same total ration what are you doing, buddy? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. No. Thank you for telling me what distance you can't reach. Oh, did we not get that on camera? Where you're trying to get up in this? Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. There you go. See, now he's spilled some of his food. Anyway, I'm gonna dump out his bowl once he's done eating. Because I don't know how people, hey, how do people do these YouTube videos where they got all these great shots of goats and stuff? I have no idea. Anyway, so I'm waiting to them eat down their food. I'm keeping the bucket far enough away. These boys, I'm mixing uh, some sweet feed with minerals. And then I try to make them work for it. But if they got to work too hard, in case of the guy over there, then the chickens are just going to get in there and take it out. I do want the chickens in for cleanup. I do want to be able to see their food get eaten completely. I'd rather the rain wash a bucket than turn food into mush. So again, regulate up front. Now I'm also keeping track of what feed they have. I, I try to keep track of the body weight, body conditioning, all those different elements, which gives me an idea if I'm giving them, giving them too much food or too little food. This guy, his warts are getting a little bit better. These two boys are in quarantine. And unfortunately that little boy over there got exposed. And so until we can move them to another area where they have some protection, because here as a group, they have a little better protection, I'm gonna keep monitoring and keep feeding them. Now, am I giving them any medication for the common warts? I am not. I'm giving them appropriate amounts of mineral, free choice minerals, appropriate amounts of free choice uh, hay, and then making sure that they're eating. As long as they're eating regularly, they don't have temperatures, and they're, they're generally in good spirits, uh, those warts will take care of themselves and clear up. But until then, no sex, no interacting with the other animals. And then the chickens can interact, but they're, they, they don't pass this kind of thing. So, and this guy may have sun, sunburn on his face. I've never seen him that red on the top there. But again, I take reference pictures and I'm monitoring uh, what's going on. Now this one, I'm going to go ahead and get a bucket and scoop out some of that water, most of that, all of that water, and then see if we can refresh after cleaning that thing out, because it's a bit green. 
if it keeps turning green, it's probably because it's in direct sunlight. Where this guy's water, which is the same water, is in the shade. And so this water is nice and clear, even though they both drop feed in it and they both drop hay in it. These are the things that I'm learning as I'm getting started with goats. This is the off-grid goats program where I work with you uh, and my mentors in order to get you started with goats off-grid, uh, starting where you're, where you're at. And then I apply holistic management methods as, as well as the best practices from my mentors as we move these woods towards silvo pasture or Virginia grassland environment and we try to keep these animals as healthy as possible. These are milk dairy goats, and they are a male dairy goats for breeding uh, that, that could be meat if they don't produce. So this is a real operating farm as it was from day one, and we hope to share with you, but I am not an expert on goats. So I'm gonna, I have a, a course online that we've curated some of the best insights I've found. You'll learn from other, other people's lessons. You'll learn from my practice and together I'll help you get your questions answered because now more than ever, it's time to get calories on hoof and to leverage the value of ruminants in order to restore land, increase property values and reduce your costs for land maintenance. We could talk about that in detail when you visit www.prosperityhomestead.org where you can join our free newsletter, ask questions on the contact page or otherwise find the backlog of our podcast. Thanks for watching. And like that chicken, I hope you find what you're looking for.